everyone, welcome to my channel, 10 Ways to Wear It. I'm Alicia, and on this channel, I take one fashion item or one fashion trend and show you all 10 different ways to wear it. Now, that is not what we're going to be doing today because today is one of my favorite videos that I do every year, and that is decorating my Christmas tree. As you can see, my tree is back there ready to get dressed, honey. I love to do themed trees, and I have so many Christmas tree decorating videos. I've done a Minnie Mouse Christmas tree. I've done a Harlequin Christmas tree. I've done a Masquerade Ball tree. And last year's tree was an African slash Ankara themed tree. It was so beautiful. I will link all of my tree videos in the description if you're interested. But today tree is going to be very traditional she's very beautiful and she's very 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 red honey we got lights we got all the goodies if you are interested in decorating my tree with me let's go ahead and get into this video <laughs> Okay, so before we get into the actual decorating of the tree and the decorating of my living room, I just wanna go over the theme of this tree a little bit. Like I said in my intro, this is gonna be somewhat of a traditional tree. So these are gonna be the main focus of the tree, these really, really large Christmas balls. I found these on clearance last year at Rite Aid. So if you have a local drugstore like Rite Aid, I found these, they were 75% off, so I think I only paid like $8 for each pack. I bought four of them, and they come five in a pack. So these are gonna be the focal point of my tree, and as you can see, they're red and silver and very glittery. I have glitter all over me. I'm gonna go ahead and sit these down and show you some of the other decor because I am gonna bring a lot of red into my living space. Um, got some little bells and whistles here that are gonna go on the tree as well. They're in like a silver and red. I have some red pillows that I picked up at Ross. These were only $7.99. Look at how cute these pillows are. So these are gonna go on my sofa. Might as well toss them on there now. I also have these red and white candy cane style pillows. These were $24.99 for both from TJ Maxx. And these are gonna go on my chairs in the back right there. So they're gonna look super cute and really pop in a few videos that you all will see upcoming. I also bought a beautiful furry red blanket from Ross. This was $24.99, so it's nice and red to drape over my sofa. I went ahead and put away the normal blankets that I have on my sofa to replace it with that red blanket just for the holiday season because I just want to have a lot of pops of red. And I have other like bells and whistles that I'll be putting around. I bought this beautiful vase with the little berries from TJMaxx.com. I'll link it if it's still available. I also have lots and lots of candles, red candles to kind of put around because I use candles as like a decorating you know item as well so lots of cute red bits and bobbles that I'll be putting around to go ahead and bring the holiday spirit into my place and I'm super excited to share it with you all so let's go ahead and start decorating this tree back here because she make it she needs she need something on <laughs> Okay, so I've opened everything up out of their packages. Um, I forgot to buy hooks for my ornaments, so I had to get a little crafty and use paper clips. I happen to have some red paper clips, so those are going to substitute as my ornament hooks for the ball specifically because I do have hooks for my other ornaments. But really quick before I start decorating a couple things, outfit of the day, my t-shirt is so cute. These, this latte t-shirt is from Shein. I will link it for you all. The outer shirt that I'm wearing is from Target. It's from the Universal Thread Collection, I believe. I have on Levi 501s on the bottom. Let me not knock the tree over. And I have on my All Saints booties, if you all can see those, combat boots. So that's the outfit of the day. Wanted to share that. It will all be linked in the description along with my adorable bob wig honey this wig is slapping okay but that's the look of the day now we got everything laid out <clears throat> real quick the order that i like to go in when i'm putting the ornaments on the tree is starting from the largest basically to the smallest so i'm certainly going to start with these larger balls to see how much of the tree they cover and then i'm going to go in with my bowls i have red and silver bowls and then I'm gonna go over everything with my lights. I know some people put their lights on first, but I feel like the lights get covered by a lot of the ornaments and stuff like that. And my lights are those beautiful red lights down there and I really want them to pop on the tree. So I'm gonna put those on last and then I'll show you all the tree, I'll show you all the rest of the decor, and then maybe we'll sit down and have a cup of hot chocolate and chit chat a little bit. So let's go ahead and get right into this decorating.
Okay, so I have all of the big balls on the tree and they definitely do take up a lot of good space on the tree, which is awesome because that's less ornaments I'll have to put on the tree and less work for me. And the closer I get to dinner and my hot chocolate, the better. So now that those are on, I'm gonna go in with these little balls. I only have 10 of these. So I'm just gonna use them to kind of fill in the spaces that are sparse or you know that look like they need something there right now so I'm gonna go ahead and pop these onto the tree really quickly So the next filler item that I have for the tree are gonna be these red bows. And I did put a few of them on already just to see how they would look against the darker red balls. And they look good, they really do pop. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw these on. I've already done the back of the tree, so I'm just gonna be putting a few on the front. So let's get these on. Okay, so now we're moving on to the final ornament that's gonna be on the tree. And I wanted the tree to have some pops of silver to kind of tie in with the silver on those balls. So I picked up these little glitter bowls from the drugstore. I got these from Rite Aid as well. They come in sets of two and they're $1.99. So you're basically getting ornaments for a dollar each, which is super affordable because ornaments can be really expensive. Like decorating a tree can get really expensive. So bowls are a great way to kind of fill your tree add some pizzazz with like glitter bowls and stuff like that. They're a little messy, but I think they're a great way to like fill in your tree and just add a nice pop and a really, really festive touch to your tree. I always incorporate bowls into every tree. When I did my Harlequin tree, I think I had like striped black and white bowls. And when I did the um, card playing Vegas tree, I had like those diamond shaped bowls like I always make some sort of bow or buy some sort of bow for the tree because I think they're really great tree fillers and these are so pretty and shiny and glittery and they're going to be perfect so I'm going to use these to kind of fill in the areas I've already done at the back of the tree so I'm just going to be focusing these on the front the back is the part that kind of faces out that my neighbors see and stuff like that so I, the back is really pretty as well don't think I'm like skimping on the back the back is very heavily decorated just like the front because that's the part that's going to be outside the window Window, so I want it to look really pretty, but we're gonna go ahead and get these silver bowls on and then the last thing we have to do is wrap the tree in light. So let's get these on. Okay, so we are almost at the end of decorating the tree. Like I said, the last thing I need to do is to wrap the tree in the lights. And these lights that I found on Amazon are pretty amazing. As you can see, they're all red. I wanted red lights this year. And also they have programming. So you can program them to be on like the chase mode. You can program them to be on like the slow, you know, lifting of the light mode. There's several programs. I have them on solid right now. And I think I'm gonna turn down the ring light so you guys can see how bright these um, lights are. Can you guys see how bright those are? They are super, super bright. I still have another light on in here so you can't really see them, but when I do do the slow insert so you guys can see the tree, like really, really see it, you'll see how bright these lights are. They are so, so stunning and worth every penny. But I'm gonna go ahead and wrap these around the tree. I might struggle a little bit with this, okay? <laughs> this might be a little bit of a struggle for me, but I'm gonna do the best that I can. So go ahead and get the lights on.
Okay, so the tree is completely done. It looks so beautiful. It looks very traditional. It's sparkly, it's glamorous. It's just what I wanted this year. It's exactly what I wanted. Just a traditional, really cute, good old tree. And that's what I got there. So I like it a lot, but my place is covered in glitter. So I'm gonna do a quick little clean with me. And then I'm gonna finish decorating, putting up my little other little red pops in here. And then I'll give you guys a nice little span of the room so you can see how everything is looking in here. Turn down the lights a little bit. Maybe even put on my pajamas, heat up some hot chocolate. We're gonna get into all of that. So let me just hit these floors, set up my pops of red, and I'll get back to y'all. So you all just saw me add my finishing touches to the room. I added my little candy cane pillows back there. They look so cute. My gosh, they really do pop in this space. They really do kind of bring that holiday cheer to my space. But right now I want to go ahead and give you guys a nice little pan of the room. And while I do that, I will talk to you. So like I said, my idea was just to add some pops of red. I don't want to go through an entire transformation in my space because I'm in a two bedroom apartment. If and when I get my home, I definitely plan to go all out. So you guys can expect an entirely different type of content. But right now, the basic premise is to add some pops to bring in that holiday spirit. So I did that with the pillows on the sofa, the pillows on my chairs, adding those nice pops of red. Of course, you all saw me decorate the Christmas tree. And right now I will give you all a slow pan of the tree. It is so beautiful. I just love how sparkly it is. It's very luxe in my opinion, which usually I like to go for a more exotic style of tree, but I'm just feeling this tree so much. It's so pretty. The glitter just pops and in low lighting, those red lights look amazing. And I'm also going to give you guys a pan in low lighting right now. So you can just see how gorgeous that tree looks when the lights in this room are off. It is absolutely stunning, y'all, and it's definitely bringing me the holiday spirit. I love Christmas time, and so I always put up a tree to kind of just lift my spirits and make me feel good, and this tree is so beautiful. I also want to show you all my TV console. So you'll see I just also added some small touches to that. I added some red stockings from TJ Maxx. Those come in sets of two, and I did get them from tjmax.com. I will link them if they're still available. And I also added just some little, like I said, bips and baubles, like they say in the UK, some little bits and baubles. I added those small candles that I got from Ross from that four piece set. And I added a little like pine cone and I don't know what you would call that little red cup that I got from Target from the dollar spot. And of course I added that white vase with the cherries on it. And I just think my little TV console looks amazing. It looks so, so pretty. So hopefully that will encourage you guys if you have a TV console and you don't wanna put up like a full tree, you can definitely just decorate your TV console and maybe like a little side table in your living room. But I love what I've done with this space. Like, I love it. What do you all think? Like, I'm just in love with it. I'm ready to make me some hot cocoa. I already got my tea kettle on right now. Have me a little whipped cream on top. I got some delicious soup on the stove. We're gonna be having a shrimp, corn, and potato chowder. And I'll definitely be sharing that recipe with you guys in an upcoming video. It's so good and it's so easy and it's so, so yummy and delicious. But that's what we're having for dinner today. Hot cocoa, maybe a glass of wine. But um, yeah, y'all, I'm ready to relax. I'm ready to put on my little Christmas PJs. That's what y'all gonna see in the next clip because uh, I gotta do it, I gotta do it. <laughs> Okay, you guys, I put on my Christmas onesie and to tell y'all that I am now in the Christmas spirit, like, ugh, I already love Christmas, but it's just something about Christmas pajamas, high cocoa, putting your tree up, got a little soup on the stove. Girl, it couldn't be a better day. It honestly couldn't be a better day. 
And I don't know about y'all, like, Christmas was such a big deal for me growing up that I just refused to let it go as an adult. I know some people get to the point where they're just like, I don't know if I'm gonna do a tree, I don't know. I'm the kind of person like, I need this. I need this. And I'm sure some of you out there can relate. Like, I, I look forward to this every year. Even though I live by myself, y'all know I am partnered, I have a man. But um, he enjoys me putting up the tree too. He loves it every year when I do it. So he really, really loves it. So it's nice to have somebody to share it with. My sister loves it. She decorates as well her place for Christmas because like I said, it's just something we grew up with. So I really love it. Let me know in the comments if some of y'all can relate. Do some of you out there love Christmas this much like that you put up a tree every year or you at least put out some kind of little decorations. Even if you don't do like a full blown tree, you do like a little something to like, you know, jazz up your place for the holidays. I just love to do that. I don't really go all out for fall. You guys saw my non kitschy fall video. So y'all know that I'm not into like that extra, extra, you know, pumpkins everywhere, all that kind of stuff for fall. I just like to add small little touches for fall and bring like a warmth. But for the Christmas holiday, girl, we do it. So anyway, I got my hot cocoa here. It is nice and hot. I got the whole bottle of whipped cream here. This whipped cream is so good. It's my favorite day and it's from Target. Really, really good. It comes in different flavors. I'm the kind of person like I got to bring the whole bottle of whipped cream because I like to keep topping off. Like me and my cousin Renita, who was the caterer in that Thanksgiving video, we grew up eating whipped cream. Like I will eat this whipped cream. I will. <laughs> I'm not gonna do it on camera because then it's just documented forever. But we're the kind of people that we love whipped cream. And my other cousins be like, <laughs> like they be ready to gag. But me and my cousin, we love whipped cream. So I'm gonna top it off. Real high and real nice, y'all. <laughs> I am just really enjoying this day, making the best of decorating my tree, sitting with y'all, hanging out, good times all around, eating whipped cream, you feel me? <laughs> now y'all know my secret, I love whipped cream. I like to just eat it like it's ice cream, which most people find disgusting, but I love it. <laughs> anyway, I really hope you all enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed decorating with me. I hope that it will help you to get into the Christmas spirit. I like to do this video before Thanksgiving so that if somebody needs some ideas or they just don't know what they're gonna do, maybe I can influence you a little bit. That's why I always like to put up my tree a little bit early because when you're an influencer, you gotta do everything earlier, okay? <laughs> so, you know, I know some people might be like, it's kinda early, but I think this is honestly the perfect time to put up your tree, especially if you like to enjoy it like me. I like to just enjoy my tree as long as I can. So I wanna put it up and have it up as long as I can. Like, cause I really do take it down like January 1st, I take my tree down. So I wanna have it up as long as I can because I just love it. <laughs> I just wanna look at it as long as I can. But I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Everything that I can link that I shared in this video, I will link in the description, including my pajamas, my socks, my wig, everything. The outfit I had on while I was decorating, all of that will be in the description of this video as well as maybe some other few things that I really, really love. But of course, I'll try to link the stockings and whatever else I can in the description. But thank you all again for watching. Happy holidays. I hope you all have an amazing one. Y'all, I'm still swallowing whipped cream. <laughs> I hope you all have an amazing one. Thank you so much. I love you guys. If you're not subscribed, make sure you subscribe before you go. And I'll see you all on the next one. Happy holidays. Mwah.